What's up family? I started my company six years ago and there are certain things that I would do completely different if I had an opportunity to start all over again. And those things would definitely make me more money a lot faster. If you're interested in what those are, stay tuned. I'm Demita McGee and the mission of this channel is to help existing and aspiring women entrepreneurs align their businesses with biblical principles. A small thing that you could actually do to support this mission is to like this channel, subscribe and share it with a friend if you give value. If you didn't know, I'm a Christian women's business coach and I have helped hundreds of entrepreneurs get the clarity and confidence that they need so they can actually own profitable businesses. So let's get started with today's video. So if I had an opportunity to start my business all over again, I would do some things very, very different. The first thing that I would do is I'd have the confidence to charge what I felt like my products were really worth. Like I charge higher in the beginning and we all do it. We nickel and dime ourselves because we feel like we don't have enough experience or we feel like nobody knows who we are. But when I sit down now and I look back at a lot of the content, the master classes, the things that I created five and six years ago, you guys, that content was actually really, really good. And I literally $49 myself to death. And I wish I had just charged better prices a lot sooner than I did. So that's one. Number two, I would actually have a full hard launch at the very beginning. You guys, when I first launched my company, I was so nervous about what I was doing. I had so little confidence in being a coach, um, really that I didn't tell anybody. I told a small amount of people. So I did what I talk about, it's called a soft launch. And I encourage people to soft launch. However, I would not have done what I did. I launched so, 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 so soft. It was pillow soft launch um, because I was just nervous and I cared too much about what people thought. I was leaving a former network marketing company and I really cared about what a lot of the people who were part of that company thought about me leaving that company and doing something completely different. And because I felt that way, I didn't go full out into my business. I kind of just snuck and started doing it because my confidence level was so incredibly low. So I would not do that. I would share with the world a lot louder that I was open for business instead of doing it on such a small scale and trying to be so incredibly quiet about it. So that's the second thing that I would change. I would do a full launch right away, coming right out of the gate. The third thing I would do Oftentimes I see people, when they start to gain some traction in their business, they take their foot off the gas because they start to feel like now I can coast. No, I would never do that again. What I do is I press into the momentum. When things are starting to get going, you know how hard it is to push a snowball uphill. That's the hardest part. You're pushing it, it's getting bigger and bigger, which is what you want. It's getting heavier and heavier. And then you get to the top and it just starts to tip over and you can feel the 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 you can feel some of what's the word gravity start to take over it's not as heavy what happens with a lot of people is they take their foot off the gas at that point i would never do that now what i do is the moment we got over that hurdle and we started going downhill i'd run fast after that snowball pushing it as hard as i can to accelerate the momentum i wouldn't slow down so when i got one cell i push for two and three when i got two and three i push for four five and six and so i want to encourage you if you are in your business where you're just starting as you start to gain any traction i want you to press into that traction so you can actually create create momentum okay the next thing that i would do and this is a big one you guys i would believe bigger faster my belief level was so low in what i was able to accomplish i didn't think i'd even get to where i am today in a coaching business i didn't see five years from then i didn't see six years from then i didn't see 10 years from the day i, I launched my company i just saw that very day that was right in front of me. I'd believe so much bigger, faster. I'd understand that yes, I make $1,000 a month, then I make 2,000 a month, then I make 5,000 a month, then I make 10. I'd believe so much bigger, faster because what I know now is that success is 95% mindset and 5% strategy. 
It is 95% of what you believe you can accomplish and only 5% of actually, actually executing what you believe you can do. The fifth thing that I would do is I just ignore the naysayers. I'd ignore them. Let me tell you, um, belief or fear of what other people thought stopped me from doing a really big launch and sharing my business with the world, um, as much of my world as I could have. Fear caused me to not believe bigger faster. Fear caused me to um, not charge what I was actually worth. And so all those things had to do with what I felt about other people and their opinions of me. Guess what I do? Now I shut out all that noise and I move forward anyway. Because what I have found over the years is when you keep pressing and you keep pushing, there are a lot more people that admire your tenacity than you even realize. And the ones that don't, you don't even have to worry about them. Honestly, you don't really have to give a lot of energy to the ones that do because you should be focused on the people that you are that you are literally meant to serve and not focus on those who don't believe in your capabilities. So number five, I just ignore those naysayers. Number six, y'all, this is a big one. I spend so much less time on social media, so much less. We are in a world where right now it looks like everybody is living like the most beautiful version of the American dream. The really big house, the really nice car, the perfect children, the you know million dollar vacation, and they're doing it all within 60 days of starting their business. Nobody wants to show you the, the rough parts. Nobody wants to share that part. All they wanna share with you is the glamour. And the reality is for a lot of people, it ain't glamorous. So I stopped spending so much time on social media looking for inspiration externally and I would just be my own source of motivation. The one thing I can tell you when you are building a business, you got to find a way to be internally motivated because if you always need external motivation, y'all, it's like a shower. It's going to wear off. And for a lot of people, they don't know how to keep themselves motivated enough to keep pushing when it gets difficult, to keep pushing when they have challenges, to keep pushing when their belief isn't strong enough. So you can't always rely on external um, sources of motivation. And in case you don't know it or not, that's exactly what social media is. It's an external source of motivation. I would spend a lot less time there. Currently today, I spend approximately an hour on social media a day, and that is it. It used to be that I'd spend almost a full work shift on social media, the equivalent of six and seven and eight hours, no more. Now I spend one hour a day on social media. If I cannot get to answer someone's question, so be it. It'll have to wait until tomorrow. If I can't like everything, so be it. It will have to wait until tomorrow. I am so much more concerned about my mental health and how I feel about me. And I don't need to spend a lot of time on social media so I can get in a space where I'm not grateful. I want to spend the majority of my time not only being grateful and in gratitude, but not so future focused that I forget the present moment. Y'all, I really want to enjoy the present. I do that very different. And the very last thing that I would do different if I started my business today is I would work so much harder on me not just on my business. I spent so much time digging in the strategies, following the next thing that would work, following the next thing, being really distracted by the next big way, the funnel. This funnel didn't work. You got to do the webinar. This webinar doesn't work. You got to do the challenge. This challenge doesn't work. You got to do this. Instead of looking at all those things, the next most amazing software, I'd understand, as I told you before, success is 95% mindset and it's 5% strategy. All of the things work, but everything's not gonna work for you. Hear me again. All of the things, they all work. Funnels, they work. Webinars, they work. Challenges, they work. Social media, it works. Social proof is amazing, it works. All of the things work, but you can't do all of the things because you gotta figure out what works for you. And see, when you're strong enough in your mind, when you've done the, 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 the work to shift paradigms in your life, when you've done the work to have a really strong belief system in what's possible and what you're capable of, what you will do is you will find a strategy and you will stick to that strategy until it works. Or you will exhaust it and then see that this wasn't the right strategy, but I gave it every single thing I've got. 
I had a mentor one time, you guys, and this is just a bonus, bonus, bonus training. I had a mentor once and he said, Demita, people think in order to change your business, and this was in network marketing, and he was, he was incredible at this. He said, people feel like in order to change um, or in order to stop, go from earning $500 a month to $5,000 a month, you need to make some huge, massive change. He said, it's never this big. It's always this big. And you guys, you know what I have found? He's been right all this time. The things that I have changed in my business have all been this big. They haven't been these huge shifts. Every time I make these massive shifts, they don't work. But when I make little tweaks, I see that I was on the right track. I just had to make an adjustment. And those little tweaks and those little adjustments have taken my business from earning very, very little to earning more every single month. And that's what's important. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. And I pray you are doing amazing in your business. If you need some support, I want to encourage you to go ahead and book your 15-minute complimentary strategy session with me. My absolute love is helping women entrepreneurs align their business with biblical principles. One of my most amazing clients that I get to work with today, she had all the pieces in place, but she could not figure out what am I missing because I'm not getting paid clients. Sometimes you just need somebody to come along with an objective viewpoint to help you see the little tweak you need to make so you can figure out why am I not being profitable in my business and so I want to thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time bye for now be blessed five four three two one let's go let's go okay I am Demita McGee and the mission of this channel is to help existing and aspiring entrepreneurs launch say, expiring existing women entrepreneurs align their businesses with the biblical principles.